Now, let's go to Ezekiel chapter 25, verse 1. Ezekiel chapter 25, verse 1. Mm -hmm. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against the Ammonites and prophesy against them. And that's them. what we're doing. The Bible says, Son of man, set thy face against the Ammonites and prophesy against them. Prophesy for all the evil that they did. The evil that Baalus did by the hands of Ishmael, that wicked wretch. Killing one of the governors of Israel. The Bible says, Son of Man. Read on. And say unto the Ammonites, Hear the word of the Lord God. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord God. Read. Because thou saidest, Aha, against my sanctuary when it was profane. Aha, against my sanctuary, the temple when it was profane. When the Babylonians came under Nebuchadnezzar and they destroyed and burnt the temple, Ammon said, Aha, it is destroyed. All the nations mocked us. Everybody looked for the downfall for the twelve. All of them looked for the day of our ruin. And Ammon rejoiced in that thing. And after we fell, he tried to take advantage and have us wipe off. He tried to finish the job. Go on. And against the land of Israel, mm -hmm. when it was desolate. And against the house of Judah, when they went into captivity. And when it was desolate, when the land was destroyed, and we went to captivity, the houses was even built up. Gedaliah was building up some of the houses so that we could dwell back in them. And he was trying to build the ruins up before they got killed. So we was trying to establish some type of order at that time period. Read on. Behold, therefore I will deliver thee to the men of the east. What does the Bible say? Therefore I will deliver thee to the men of the east. So what? They were already in the east. So God says, I'm going to be, because of your wickedness, you're speaking against my people. Therefore, I'm going to deliver you to the men of the east. Who the men of the east? Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 21, verse 18. Did we finish that? No, keep reading. Keep reading. He says, I will deliver thee to the man of the east. Go on. For possession. And they shall set their palaces in thee. Where are you? Uh, verse 4. Ezekiel 25, verse 4. Sir. Go on. And set their palaces in, uh, excuse me. And they shall set their palaces in thee and make their dwellings in thee. They shall eat thy fruit and they shall drink thy milk. So God says, therefore, I will make the men of the east come. Read that again. That part again. Therefore, I will deliver thee to the men of the east. So the men of the east is going to get me Jeremiah chapter 21, verse, I mean Ezekiel 21, verse 18. It is going to the king of Babylon, the king of Nebuchadnezzar. So they were already in the east. So this is going into the prophecies, going to the migrations or Babylon pushing the Ammonites and not just Ammon, Moab. All the nations start to scurry or leave that, those regions, those territories. You have Israel start to go flee into Africa. You had Edom, because of the fall of Jerusalem, start to go further into Italy, even though you have some parts of Italy that Edom already subjugated, but you have more Edomite tribes because was waiting for the fall of Jerusalem, decided after the fall of Babylon, I mean after the fall of Jerusalem, go into the, um, the west, which is Italy. Read that. Ezekiel chapter 21, verse 18. Mm -hmm. The word of the Lord came unto me again, saying, Also thou son of man, appoint thee two ways. That the sword of the king of Babylon may come. So the king of the Babylon, the king of Babylon is the man of the east. Read. Both twain shall come forth out of one land. Read. And choose thou a place. Choose it at the head of the way to the city. Go on. Appoint a way that the sword may come to Rabbath of the Ammonites. So that the sword may come upon Rabbath of the Ammonites. That the men of the east, the men of the east, Nebuchadnezzar after, I'll say it again. After Ishmael slaughtered Gedaliah, Nebuchadnezzar went on a campaign, went to Egypt, then to Jerusalem, then to Moab and Ammon. Go on. And to Judah and in in Jerusalem, the defense. Read on. For the king of Babylon stood at the parting of so the way. So that's all I want. So now let's go back to Ezekiel chapter 21. 25 verse 1. So the men of the east is going to the king of Babylon, King Nebuchadnezzar, making that journey and destroying Egypt, Jerusalem, as well as Ammon and Moab. Ezekiel chapter 25 verse 4. Mm -hmm. Behold, therefore I will deliver thee to the men of the east. That's when you see that they was pushed further east into what we call as Japan today, as well as um, China as well. Read on. For possession. Mm -hmm. And they shall set their palaces in thee. So Babylon took control of those territories. He took control of Moab as well as, can you get me a map of the land? Moab and Ammon. Go on. 
and make their dwellings in thee. Mm -hmm. They shall eat thy fruit, and they shall drink thy milk. Mm -hmm. And I will make Rabbah a stable for camels, mm -hmm. and the Ammonites a couching place for flocks. That's it. That's all I want. So he says, now get me Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 8. 48, verse 8. Nope, 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 nope. I want the ancient map, not China and Japan. I want the actual biblical map. So he says, I will deliver thee to the, to the men of the east. So that's when Nebuchadnezzar made their journey or their um, convoy to the land of Moab and Ammon. And that's when he pushed them further east into what we know as China and Japan today. Jeremiah 48, verse 8. Jeremiah chapter 48, verse 8. And the spoiler shall come upon every city, and no city shall escape. The valley also shall perish. And the plain shall be destroyed, as the Lord hath spoken. Mm -hmm. Give wings unto Moab. Give what? Give wings unto Moab. Give wings unto Moab. Reverse it again. And the spoiler shall come the unto... The spoiler is going to Nebuchadnezzar, the Babylonians. Read. Upon every city. Shall come upon every city. Came upon Egypt. Came upon Jerusalem. Came upon Moab. Came upon Ammon. Read. And no city shall escape. And those skitties shall escape. Read. The valley also shall perish. Read. And the plain shall be destroyed. And Nebuchadnezzar came destroying those lands. Read. As the Lord has spoken. As God has spoken. Read. Give wings unto Moab. Give wings unto Moab to do what? That it may flee and get away. That Moab may flee from the wrath of Nebuchadnezzar. Read. For the cities thereof shall be desolate. The cities of Moab shall be desolate. And not things, and not only Moab, but Ammon as well shall be desolate. Now, does it have the tribes of Gad and Reuben below it? Give me the with the tribe, all of that. I need all everything there. Minimize it. Is that the map? Give me the map with Gad, Reuben, Moab, and Ammon. Read that in part again. For the cities thereof shall be desolate uh -huh. without any to dwell therein. So the city shall be desolate without any to dwell in it. Why? Because the men of the east, Nebuchadnezzar and the Babylonians, will make a military campaign and destroy those cities. He destroyed Egypt. He went into Jerusalem. Then he destroyed Moab territory. And he destroyed Ammon's territory. Some of them went into captivity, but some of them fled away. Some of them got away and went further into the east. Now, go to Jeremiah chapter 49 verse 1. You got the map? All right, hold that for a second. Hold that. Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 1. Jeremiah chapter 49, verse so 1. So now, don't forget about Baalus. Read. Concerning the Ammonites. Concerning the Ammonites. Read. Thus saith the Lord. Read. Hath Israel no son? Hath Israel have no son? Read. Hath he no heir? Read. Why then doth their king inherit Gad? Why then doth their king? Who is the king? If you look at the number, what does the number say right there? Uh, six. Six. It says Malcolm. Malcolm? So who is Malcolm? We read it earlier. That's why they pay attention to details. Malcolm goes back to Bialis. Another word for Bialis, the king of Ammon, was Malcolm. I'll say it again. The Ammonite king that had Gedaliah killed by the hands of Ishmael. Read it again from the top. Concerning the Ammonites. Concerning the Ammonites. We already identify by scholarly records that the Ammonites are the Japanese, but not only are we going to give you scholarly records, but we're going to give you biblical records to a tie, to attach to scholarly records. Go on. Thus saith the Lord. Read. Hath Israel no sons? Hath Israel no sons? Read. Hath he no heir? Read. Why then doth their king inherit Gad? Why does Bialis, the king of the Ammonites, inherit Gad? Now, can you get me the map? Why then does the king of Bialis inherit Gad? Now, we're talking about now, you might ask yourself a question. This is Jeremiah chapter 49. You have Moab. You have Ammon. You have Gad right there. So Gad was right. Reuben, Gad, and Manasseh was right on the borders of Ammon. But now, we just read just a second ago, not too long ago, that Babylon, Ezekiel 25, that the men of the east shall take control and destroy Moab. He told Jeremiah 48 to Moab to flee, to get wings and fly. The, and Moab will be desolate. It will be destroyed. So what happened to the Ammonites? And why does it say, why then does the king Bialis inherit Gad? Why does it say the king Bialis inherit Gad? Read on. Why then doth the king inherit Gad? Read. And his people dwell in the cities. And his people dwell in the cities. Now Gad is on the border of Ammon. 
So Ammon did have Gad, did take control of Gad cities, but not, like it says, this is not only talking about, like I said, for the time being, but this is also going to the prophecies. This is going to another point of history into the migration. Why then did an Ammonite king, Bialis, inherit Gad? Hmm. This is after they fled. Now, let's go to Deuteronomy 3, verse 16. Just showing the scripture that Gad had the territories on the borders of Ammon. Deuteronomy 3, verse 16. Deuteronomy chapter 3, verse 16. Read. And unto the Reubenites, and unto the Gadites, Read. I gave from Gilead, even unto the river Arnon, half the valley. Read. And the border, even unto the river Jabbok, which is the border of the children of Ammon. Which is the border of the children of Ammon. So we were on the border of the Ammonites. So why then does the king inherit Gad? Is it just that the king had the rulership over Gad's territory? Or is it also going to something else? Going to something different? Going to something more prophetic? Because now go back to Jeremiah chapter 49 verse 1. Book of Jeremiah chapter 49 verse 1. And I want you to go to verse 2 after that. Concerning the Ammonites, thus saith the Lord, hath Israel no sons? Hath he no heir? Why then doth their king inherit Gad? Why then does Bilas inherit Gad? Read. And his people dwell in his cities. And his people dwell in his cities. Read on. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will cause an alarm of war to be heard in Rabbah Read. of the Ammonites. Of the Ammonites. Go on. And it shall be a desolate heap. And Ammonites, the land shall be a desolate heap, just like with Moab. He says, give more our wings that they may fly because the land will be desolate. Ammon's land will be a desolate heat because when Nebuchadnezzar comes through, he was going to destroy the land. Read on. And her daughter shall be burned with fire. And her daughter shall be burned with fire. They should burn the land with fire. Read on. Then shall Israel be heir unto them that were his heirs. When was Israel ever heir unto them? Show me one point of biblical history was Israel heir unto them. Let's go into prophecy now. Why? Because in a prophecy, in the future, Israel will live with the Ammonites in Japan. But why does it, why does the king inherit Gad? Keep reading. Then shall Israel be heir unto them that were his heirs, mm -hmm. saith the Lord. That was his heir because why? They had us as captives, as slaves within the territories. Now, go to Ezekiel chapter 25 verse 8. Ezekiel chapter 25, verse 8. Read. Thus saith the Lord God. Uh huh. Because that Moab and Seir do say. Because be Moab, the Chinese, and Seir, Seir is going into the so called white men, the Caucasians. Esau, I do mean Edom. Because they say what? Behold, the house of Judah is like unto all the heathen. Behold, the house of Judah is be like unto all the heathen. Why? After Babylon came and destroyed Judah, Judah was assimilated into the Babylonian captivity. Judah was assimilated in the Moabite, in the Moab territory, was assimilated in Ammon as well as Edom. We read that earlier. The other nations, Moab possessed us, Ammon possessed us, and Edom possessed us. Read that again. Thus saith the Lord God, mm -hmm. because that Moab and Seir do Because say, the Chinese and the Caucasians do say, read. Behold. Behold. The house of Judah. It's like unto all the heathens. All of Judah is like unto all the heathens. All of Judah is assimilated into all the cultures. They became like unto us. They adopted our customs. They adopted our customs. And they're in a bottom society like we are now. They're no longer the ruling nation. Read. Therefore, behold, I will open the side of Moab from the city. Read. From his cities, which are on his frontiers. Go on. The glory of the country. Beth Jeshamoth, Baalmion, and Cariathium. Read on. Unto the men of the east with the Ammonites. Unto the men of the east, because Nebuchadnezzar and the Babylonians destroyed the Ammonites and pushed them further into the east, pushed them into China, pushed them into Japan. Read. And will give them in possession. And will give them into possession. Not all of them went to China, Japan, but some of them stayed back and was taken as slaves. Read. That the Ammonites may not be remembered. That what? That the Ammonites may not be remembered. That you will no longer remember the Ammonites. I said it earlier. Some of the hardest history to associate, correlate with the Bible is Moab and Ammon. Out of all the nations, out of all the 18 nations that was created, out of you go to the book of Genesis. We could find book and records of Esau. We could go and find records of Ishmael. Everybody knows who the Ishmaelites are. You can find records of books of Elam. 
But when it comes to Moab and Ammon, those are some, oh, you want to go to Hamanic tribes? We found books and records of the Hamanic. They even have it in a Zoner Compact Bible Dictionaries. Ham, the progenitor of the dark races, the Egyptians, the Canaanites, but not the Negroes. But why is it when it comes to Moab and Ammon, nobody knows who they are? Why is it when it comes to Moab and Ammon, not even the scholars know? The scholars have to get three or four sources, or they got to get three or four different scenarios or assumptions because they cannot correlate the two to, with each other. They cannot pinpoint the exact timeline or the history because Ammonite history or Japanese history is wrapped in Jewish, or I'll say Japanese mythicism. Nation is men leading by example.